and welcome to Mass of Beers. My name is Matt. New brewery time up in here in the form of 1840 brewing. Never heard of these. Peoples before. Um, this is their cashmere sweater IPA a la Seinfeld fame when George tried to pull off that red dotted cashmere sweater on Elaine and the cleaning lady. Several different people. Um, so I'm all about it. I'm here for it. Um, yeah, this is bottle, uh, I guess it's bottle 230,000, 212? I mean, that's, that's a lot of this. I'm, that's kind of like uh, a lot of bottles. I don't know. Kind of blown away by that. Didn't read that until I did this. Um, India Pale Hop, uh, bursted with double dry hopped exclusive with cashmere hops, 8% alcohol by volume. Um, as per Cameron, who actually gave me this beer, he is great about putting notes on these beers. $8.99 per bottle. Really expensive. Really expensive. $8.99 per bottle. It's almost $40 a four pack? God damn. Um, bottled 212.23. Got a little bit of time on it. Um, not that much, though. About a month, a little over a month. Uh, two months, sorry. Um, and this variant of the cashmere sweater, um, the hoppers with cashmere hop hash, hop hash, a bar product of pelletization process, is a gooey form of hops, um, let me just knock the mic around, uh, containing less plant matter and twice the juiciness. So I got this little light here that I use and I don't know how to use it yet and sometimes it shuts off for motion so I gotta go like this with my hand every now and then. So um, yeah, it's gonna be like a <clears throat> some kind of like a Busta Rhymes video or something like that. I'll just be like going like this when I start doing reviews all the time until I figure out how to use it, which will be never. Um, I need a bottle opener. Do I have one? I have one over there. I'll go get one. Oh. There it is. Um, so yeah, Cameron sent this off. Sent this off with another beer from them. It was an IPL. I have not reviewed that yet. And um, a bunch of mystery beers. So we'll see how the sucker plays. I love these bottles. These kind of old school Mickey Grenady kind of bottles just get me all kind of hot and bothered about the shapes and things and stuff. So let me rotate this down this one a little bit. There you go. That's all we need. Um, and then just cashmere sweater, the Seinfeld reference, just internally just makes me laugh. So I dig that. Dig the bottle, dig the whole nine. It's kind of weird to combine that though, because it has this like very old school kind of like, like, I don't know, kind of like ornate kind of classic kind of bottle stylings. And then it just references the Seinfeld episode, which is really, really weird. And the beer itself, I mean, that's haze. Look at that thing. That turbid, crazy. Let's push it all the way up to the camera. Let's actually hit the camera with the beer. There we go. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that is dense, dense haze, just off white head. Looks all the part of a, of a big, turbid double IPA. Let's get a nose. Not gonna lie to you. Not a big hop presence. I mean, you're getting more like a hop particulate kind of vibe to it as opposed to just bursting at the seam and hops. Just more of like a subtle kind of fluttering green um a soft little kind of like almost like burr sugar kind of sweetness that's pretty much it you're talking about an eight percent double ipa it really comes off as like a four percent kind of pale ale at least on the aromatics not in a negative way but it definitely smells like it's going to be like a dropout all bitterness kind of let's throw a confectionery little bit of lactose even though we don't say it on the bottle um, super duper saturated hazy kind of thing. So the nose leaves a lot to be desired. Dig the bottle. Nose is a little bit meh. Let's dive in. Cheers, all. And honestly, it's kind of what I said. I mean, it is really just this, this kind of drop out all bitterness. <clears throat> like hoppy, hop saturated kind of new school New England style hazy now it can't curb all that bitterness it can't curb it because I think it's so aggressively dry hopped you can't dismiss that green particulate that hop particulate in there which brings a bitterness to it that brings like a little bit of ranky dang to it 
silky sultry mouthfeel. It's not going to be confused with being hyper hyper dense. But at the same time, it, <clears throat> it's not going to be confused with like ultra turbid. The sweetness level here has a little bit of kind of that little confectionery kick to it. Almost like they dose it with a subtle bit of lactose to kind of cut the edge of that really, really sharp kind of malt base. So it's mostly like a brewer sugar thing in combination with a soft touch of lactose to bring a little bit of soft edge to the sweetness. Not really any kind of discerning maltness to it. Actually, it might be the total opposite. It just comes off as more like... <sighs> Just fermentable sugar as opposed to grain. And it really is like probably, it's a weird beer. Let's put it that way. I'm really excited to dive into the other one too to see where that one leads. Because it comes off as super duper aggressively hopped. But also not super impactful it's a weird weird beer it's almost like man this sucks for 1840 if they watch this um it's almost like instant hazy that's how this beer kind of comes off to me like you know like instant coffee it's almost like if you sold beer in powdered form like a, a hazy New England IPA in a powdered form, and they're like, just mix this in some warm water and let it sit and then chill it down and you get your own hazy IPA. It's kind of how it comes off to me, is that it's like a, why is this light freaking out, man? I gotta figure out how to use this thing because it's gonna ruin, ruin all the reviews. It's like jumping up and down and all that kind of fun stuff. Anyway, I'm not gonna complain about my light. I'm just gonna keep going. And it just comes off as this really weird beer. Really weird. Now, feel silky and cool. You can tell there's a ton of hops thrown into it. There's zero malt whatsoever in the beer. That's probably the thing that kind of, like, catches me most mentally. Is that it just tastes like something that's made with straight burr sugar as opposed to any kind of malt whatsoever. But even the hops, like, it's aggressively dosed with super neutral, non-impactful non hops. That's probably the best way I could put it. Is that you can tell there's a ton of hops used, but the the aggressiveness, the volume of the hops that are used are super small. And there's definitely a touch of lactose right in there. Yeah, it's weird, man. I mean, I'm not a fan. No, I'm definitely not a fan. But not in a way that I'm like, man, this is the worst thing I've ever tasted in my life. But it's like so subtle on the edges. It's like so purposeful no that's not the word i'm looking for it's so kind of like trying to be aggressive but it's so meek at the same time it's kind of how it lands for me i know it's kind of a weird combination but it wants to be a boisterous big rough and tumble double ipa but how it comes off is just weak you know and just minimal you know it's just like it's like when somebody's in a light going on and off again, man. Oh, God. I got to turn it off or something. I'm going to freak out. Um, <laughs> I don't need it anymore. <coughs> um, yeah, it's so weird. It's just a weird beer. Weird beer in general. Because it wants to be. It wants to be a big boy, super saturated hazy, but it's just not doing what the things that separate those from being like the halves from the have-nots there you go that's my review 1840 man i was pumped for this one seinfeld references weird bottle shape the whole nine let's actually do that let's pour it in there give it a whirl see if any kind of the good stuff was at the bottom maybe who knows no um so there you go i appreciate the uh the uh the beer cameron and the fun opportunity, you know, it just, it just, <clears throat> it's like methadone for a hazy. Just giving you, giving you just enough of what you need to really kind of be like, this is a hazy IPA. I mean, it's not hazy, I'll drop out all bitterness, but it's not giving you anything kind of noteworthy to really enjoy a lot of fun stuff. Anyway, one of the better double IPAs I've had is late, no, Mount Rushmore says goes without speaking no and uh just leave you with 
Let's talk about the brewery. Have you had anything from 1840? Really curious to see who's had stuff. Obviously, Cameron has. I'm really curious to see if he's had stuff, his dad had stuff, stuff like that. Um, anybody else? Have you had this particular beer? What were your thoughts on this beer? It's two months old. Shouldn't be an issue. I'm not going to sit there and say it got a ton of age on it and that really affected the beer. It's in glass, but I don't think that's a big deal. And it's mad expensive. It's almost 40 bucks for back. That's crazy pants. So there you go. Let's talk about all that stuff down there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed our review. Hopefully you're enjoying a, a good double IPA right now. Hopefully see you next time. Cheers, y'all.